Hello again, my meatbag and bot friends. Welcome to part three of Sam and Max Hit the Road. In this chapter, the boys finish off the carnival, I think, and prepare to head for the next destination. As you know, or maybe you don't, they're on the hunt for Bruno, the missing Bigfoot and his long-necked girlfriend. Want to ride the Tunnel of Love? Yippee! It fits perfectly. That was fun. My little body's covered with swan pimples. Wanna ride the Tunnel of Love again? Why not? Just another random acts of violence. Just another random acts of violence. Get off of there, Max. Why? Check this out. I'll never shave again. You never did. It's Max. Couches sputters in his native habitat. This looks like the Tunnel of Love reset switch. Just like at the bowling alley. Couch just sputters in his native habitat. Who are you? I'm Doug, the Mole Man. Who are you? I'm Sam. He's Max. We fight crime. And we like long walks along the beach. What do you want from me? Do you know anything about Bruno the Sasquatch? Bruno the Sasquatch? 
Why, the stories I could tell you. Stop him, Sam. He's gonna tell us a story. I first met Bruto 25 years ago in Saigon. And then there was the time we all had our taxes done by a platypus. And... Shut up! For God's sake, just shut up! Look, we just want to know where Bruno is now. Gee, I have no idea where he went. Maybe you should talk to my uncle. Your uncle? Yeah, my uncle Shavuul. He's really into Bigfoots. When I was a kid, he used to tell me stories about giant Bigfoot parties, where all the Bigfoots of the world would get together and dance Bigfoot dances and... That's great, kid. Where can we find your uncle? I don't know. He disappeared a short time after he helped build the largest ball of twine on Earth. I think I may weep openly. Look, you two seem trustworthy. Oh, we are. Yes, you can trust us as far as we can throw you. So if you bring me some pecan-flavored candy, I'll give you my key to Trixie's trailer. I'll also tell you a big secret about how Bruno escaped. Why not tell us now? Because I'm hungry. You know, watching too much TV is super bad for the eyes. Why do all you squishy, poorly focused blobs say that? Never mind. I think that's all for now. Fine. You can find your own way out. There. That should get things running again. Jackalopes, the bastard pets of Piltdown Man. I gotta go to the bathroom. You're awfully cheery for a minimum wage earner. All Snucky U graduates have completed courses in excessive and unwarranted cheerfulness. But enough about me. What can I do for you? My little buddy has to use the facilities. Facilities be damned! I need a bathroom! They're in the back. Here's the key. There's an awfully big rasp attached to that keychain. Out of toilet paper? No, we just had problems with thugs stealing our restroom keys. They're the cleanest in nine counties. The keys? The restrooms. You need some help, little buddy? I think I can handle this myself, Sam. Now, anything else I can do for you? Do you know anything about Bigfoots? Only what I read in the weekly International Evening Inquirer Star. Anything else? Snucky you. Is that in the Pac-10? No, no, no. Snucky you is where all Snucky's employees are sent to learn the ins, the outs, the ups, the downs, the overs, and the unders of the amazing gastronomical and cultural phenomenon that is Snucky's. Fascinating. At Snucky U, we're given intensive courses in patty pounding, choosing the right button for soft drinks, and the all-important pickle jar opening. I had no idea you were so rigorously trained. Hey, I can open any jar in the country. Cool. Now, how can I put all that Snucky U training to use for you? Hey, can you open this for me? Sure. Ain't a jar made I can't open. Anything else I can do for you? Nothing. You have no idea how often I hear that. Here's your key.
Genuine Native American Drum, manufactured by Genuine Native Koreans. It's a shelf full of Snucky's crap. It's Max. It's a shelf full of Snucky's crap. It's a box of pecan flavored candies. I don't think he'd want that. Stop! Get over here! Were you going to leave here without paying for that? Evans, no. Here's some money. Fine. Wanna ride the Tunnel of Love again? Why not? I hate pecan flavored candies. I hate pecan flavored candies. Here, I thought you might like some candy. Thanks. The God's my favorite. Hey, you're all right. Take this key as a token of my appreciation. Wow, this is some key. Okay, Sam, let's get the hell out of here. Wait, I've got a great story you should hear. <sighs> Keep it short, kid. My partner's got a low tolerance for long stories. Well, it all started the day before today. I remember it like it was yesterday. It's not widely known, but Trixie had fallen in love with Bruno. Every night, she'd sneak into the freak show tent and read to him what she imagined to be his favorite bedtime stories. She seemed as happy as a self-mutilated parody of nature could be. But she could never truly be happy until her beloved Bruno was free. Finally, she decided to do something about Bruno's predicament. She begged Flambe, the fire breather, to free the Bigfoot from his icy cage. Flambe took pity on poor Trixie and liberated Bruno. And the happy couple haven't been seen since. Hell of a story, ain't it? The Time of Love is already operational. So this is what happens to unsuccessful third-party presidential candidates.
Hey, Max, come here. What? Watch this. Well, this is undignified. Oh, boy! It's a hope chest. I hope it's filled with more gold than my poor eyes can stand. Hey, there's a neat costume in here. It's reassuring to know that the carnival is still out there. That's a disquietingly tall bed. How can you say disquietingly with a straight face, Sam? It's a big closet. Trixie's a big girl. It's a scorecard from the Gator Golf Emporium in Rumi Eyes, Florida. It's a big closet. Trixie's a big girl. Ooh, they're genuine Scrantonese potions of fertility. Let's take them. I don't think we should risk being any more fertile than we already are, Max. It's a fishbowl magnifying lens. My head's already shaped like a fishbowl. Hey, Cushman's. Uh, what do you want? Where do you buy your clothes, anyway? These aren't clothes. Our skin is naturally green and vinyl-like. Good Lord! Uh, he's buck naked! So are you. Yeah, but I'm cute and marketable. Well, it's back to the Bigfoot hunt. Hey, flame boy. Yes? Doesn't that hurt? A lot. I suppose there's a trick to eat. I just haven't been able to figure it out. Your ineptitude gives hope to all of us further down on the food chain. Is there anything else I can do for you? You can drop the act. We know it was your kerosene-soaked breath that freed Bruno. And we know that you sometimes go for days on the same pair of socks. Okay, you cut me. Just don't tell my bosses. Maybe we should rat him out, Sam. The thought of him out in the streets drinking lighter fluid seems somehow ironic. It's scary to watch you wrestle with abstract concepts, Max. How'd Trixie talk you into freeing Bruno? She charmed me with your feminine wiles. She also promised to pay me 20 bucks. Are you sure you don't know anything about Conroy Bumpus? He is a country singer, right? Sorry, but I don't know much about him. I'm more of a mumbo fan. Anything else? Nah. Good. So it looks like next time we're off to the world's largest ball of twine. Wow, even in a video game that sounds boring. 
However, it won't be because this game is awesome. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day, neighbors.